All right, the, the process of downloading the data is actually covered in one of those uh, videos that Dr. Karagianidis posted, but I'll just walk you through it. Go to Yahoo Finance, and the address is finance.yahoo.com. If you're looking for BP, Then go to one of the search boxes, see where it says quote lookup, and type in BP. The three that you're doing are BP, AAPL for Apple, and uh, I don't remember the other one. Doesn't matter. All right, so go to historic data here. And Dr. K's videos walked you to this point. Time period. Bring up the box and type in a start date, which was December 2014, and an end date, 12 slash 12 slash 01 slash 2017. And when you're going for monthly data, it just looks at the month, not the particular date. All right, and then we apply that. And then we're done. You see where it says June 1? That just means June. And the open on June 1 was 46.17. The close on June 30th was 45.92. You're supposed to use the adjusted close. The adjusted close for June is the number we're using. Download the data, you click on Download Data. Save as. Save it to some place. You can rename it if you want. BP Monthly. It'll come out as a comma-separated variable file. Which, when you go back in here looking for it, Trying to remember where you put it. Double click on it, it opens it in Excel. All right? So basically, that's all you have to do. Go to BP, pick monthly, apply, pick your dates, hit done. Hit download data. Hit save as and then tell it where to save. If you already have data there, it'll ask you if you want to override it, and I just went ahead and overwrote it. BP, comma separated variables. So December 214 closing price, use the adjusted close, 30.274 whatever, to get the return for that month. Just calculate the percentage change. And that's what a return is. And then just follow the instructions that are posted out there in, in the various videos and the instructions for the homework and the uh, PowerPoint notes that are in a PDF file.